Now, if there is one anecdote that exemplifies our relationship best, it's the time we were in Amritsar, in the Indian state of Punjab. Having just explored the Golden Temple, wearing nothing but flip-flops, on our way to a fortress on the edge of town on a chilly evening, an unexpected downpour began. The unpaved streets quickly turned to mud, and the exposed power lines overhead began showering sparks. We took shelter in the nearest place we could. A dusty nook where an old man sold chai for a few rupees a cup. We sat there sipping tea, watching sparks fly, people and tuk-tuk struggling to get through the mud, with no ends in sight for the rain. melding of traditions uh, and families and there is nothing better and more joyous than being able to welcome a bride and a groom uh, into this moment. Blessed are you who have come here in the name of God. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you find the manifold blessing of shalom, of peace, wherever it is that you may go. And let us say, Amen. Hare. At. Mikudeshet. Hare. Ata Mikudash Li Pita Abata Zo Kedat Moshe Israel. So Amir is about to break a glass, uh, and there are a number of reasons why Jews break a glass at the end of a ceremony. Get ready. What could have been a harrowing experience and a real travel nightmare full of complaints and nagging was actually a beautiful experience filled with warmth and humor. I feel so lucky to have found a bride that not only shares the same values as me, but is beautiful warm, and much, much more intelligent than I am. Just knowing that I'm sharing the rest of my life with you makes me feel that I've succeeded in life. <laughs> <laughs>